Uh, Asif, uh, could you do that for me for, for our student? Sharing your screen and then. Uh, uh, do not explain details about all of them, just the uh, uh, overall uh, scope of your your your, uh, your doing, uh, and then the so emphasize uh, what what is the main concept and what is the uh, main uh, uh, main maybe ideas what you have that okay focusing in this point okay. Okay, go ahead. Thank you, uh, Professor, uh, for share uh, for giving me a chance to share how I have done my final assignment. So, in my final assignment, I have uh, made eleven videos on eleven uh, questions, and here you can see I have uh, mentioned the numbers uh, sorry the minutes where i have uh, made the definition or made some coding and change code so uh, anybody can see my video uh, where uh, if anyone want to know a 2d integration two by two points then if he just click here then he can get the video from from that and yeah and also uh for gauss quadrature formula this this video is connected uh to the youtube uh, yes professor. This youtube is open to everybody uh yes professor and if anyone get to my uh, website here uh, this is the results of deal two so you can get all the videos which are arranged here. So, yeah, you can see the first one is gas quadrature and function shape, shape function, building block, and simple mesh creation, Laplace solver, C, and I have a uh, slitter like this. Okay, um, uh, looks very good. Okay, go, go and, on. And if I go, say, for example, in the YouTube section, then if you go here, then I have made the section here. If you uh, just uh, put the mouse here, then you can get the introduction, definition of Gauss quadrature, what we will learn, and yeah, and table and formula, how the basic of the problem. So before. Uh, explaining any problem of any assignment i have explained the basic of the problem then i have mentioned one or two problem here and uh, and other things so the assignment which is related to codes uh, say for example uh, this one uh, yes uh, for say for example this one um the basic concept was uh declared here uh, described here and i have explained the main source code and also say, uh, since it's c plus template uh, which needs some basic so i have discussed some yeah do you yeah, do, have, uh, okay uh, so far do you understand the the importance of the C++ template is—is is it? Uh, do, you, do you understand what? Uh, yes, professor. I have understood. And here in this uh, in this section, actually, uh, in this uh, example, they have uh, exported just 2D uh, 2D uh, result. But with C++ template, I have uh, got uh, 1D and 3D result uh, from that. And also, I have changed the code. Uh, like here, uh, here I have changed the code where they have used a everywhere template dim instead of that. After template, uh, anybody can set any name. So in that case, I have used template uh, asif. So uh, 
uh, with the name of uh, my name with the my name i have uh, uh, put uh, i have resulted to uh, different results from same code and if i discuss about the uh, newton's method uh, here the two uh, two assignments in newton's method and the time discretization of adversion and diffusion in these two assignment i didn't uh, success i was not successfully uh, run the code because it took almost more than one or two days but it didn't run more, more than one or two days uh, yes professor but it didn't run uh, these two okay. one and so i had stopped but uh, in the ppt i have explained it so if you uh, if anyone want the uh, i have modified all the course here so if anyone want to wants to get the uh, P, uh, ppt or uh, or modified code then if anybody click here then he can get to my github account and uh, download the uh, code or the pdf that i have created and also also in the building block yeah, here in the building block video uh, since uh, you have told uh, to make some source uh, to change the source code since there was no source code in the uh, uh, professor bangargard video bangard video so i have made a python code uh, this is the python code for creating coordinates i have sequentially uh, developed the code for making a coordinate for did making you, did you do by yourself or yes or? yes professor i have done by myself and uh, how i have done i have uh, recorded while writing the code here and also if you can go to my github account you can get the uh, course also i have submitted my all the uh, created code into the lms so here oh, you can it, see it looks, it looks uh, excellent okay. uh, it, uh, it uh, yeah uh, you can see that this is the plate uh, uh, we i have made the notes in the plates and also if there are some crack in the plate uh, so uh, i have oh you can you can adjust this one yes so professor the crack, crack propagation or this is the initial uh, that, that, that there is a, some hole uh, yes professor plate. Uh, yes professor there is a hole in this plate so i can make the hole right like rectangular or circular or uh, um, parabolic so okay. i have made this here and the code is for parabolic and also you can see the question is uh, like here closer yeah the problem is here and with that problem i have made if you can get here i can play this video here so uh, i want to make the code for making the notes here and also this parabolic crack so i have developed this uh, code here you can see the uh, uh, notes are here and i can easily uh, change the number of nodes and the uh, shape of the uh, crack uh, with with my this uh, little code so initially i have just um, uh, created the code for four points one two three four then i have made only the plate and i have made the crack and in this video uh, how i have created the code uh, i have explained it and during writing the code i have recorded all the video so in mm -hmm. other videos also uh, in other videos also i have also uh, recorded uh, the whole time while uh, changing the source code or changing the others and here uh, since this is c++ template so before going to the c++ template i have uh, recorded the video while creating some course uh, simple course like uh, uh, one plus one which will be greater than just for uh, creating a basic and this is for the class template and after explaining that i have changed the same way the main source code like here uh, yeah template int asif uh, then i have uh, changed the dimension uh, which they have used dim so instead of that i have changed the 
uh, other mesh numbers and the templates and I, at last uh, here in the int may i have changed also the run sections the codes and here in the main section there was only one there was only one uh, result so i have um, yeah edited where uh, i can get the 2d and the 3d but in in the previous case there was only 2d result so after that i have <coughs> uh, visualized with the visit yeah visit uh, software uh, the uh, 2d and this is the elevated uh, result of the 2d and also this is the uh, result of 3d that i have showed in paraview so i have used for visualization visit and paraview also and in this case uh, in this case they have um, just yeah uh, with c plus plus template they had uh, resulted 2d and 3d but uh, since the problem is something similar so i have also uh, with changing the template i have uh, resulted the 1d uh, result and also in the same case uh, 3d result and uh, and i have also showed how to change the mesh mesh numbers and the refinement and uh, explain the boundary conditions and in in details i have mentioned here you can see here the introduction, basic concept, and the actually, solver selection. Actually, the Newton's method is very, very important yes, for, solving, for solving the non-linear equation. So linearization uh, through the Newton method. So the concept of Newton method is very, very fundamental. I think the uh, undergraduate course, you, you may be learned, you have lo already learned about the Newton, Newton Lapson method or just say Newton's method uh, in the under, undergraduate course, but in the uh, graduate course, also very, very important Newton's method for solving the nonlinear equation. So you can have uh, some uh, big picture or concept for that. You, you have already understand what, what the Newton, main concept of the Newton method. Is it right? Okay. Uh, yes, so definitely. And in, in that video, while describing this uh, theory, I have uh, discussed and de uh, described de uh, uh, not briefly and also in details. So here I have used the, uh, I have declared uh, how we can select the solver, this section, and how are the boundary values and how the Newton uh, method works. Uh, how they converge and what is the dependent issues and also in the last portion uh, in the yeah, implementation here i have also in uh, with hands how the points converge to uh, one resulted points too and this is the uh, and also in the mesh uh, in the para view in the para view uh, video I have uh, uh, demonstrated how to uh, visualize 2D, 3D object, a fluid profile, a thermal distribution, and then since uh, and also uh, showed the different features in Paraview. And in the neighbor stock, so uh, in the uh, uh, other section, I have. Uh, in detail, uh, described what is neighbor Stokes equations, how the linearization and initial gaze are uh, work, and I have also used uh, pen to uh, describe uh, by hands, also. Yeah, and I have also explained the code, run the code here, and visualize it in visit. And I, uh, in the next video of nearby stocks, I have changed the source code. And for changing the source code, uh, after changing the source code, I have showed how the Reynolds number affect the uh, uh, result. So this is the laminar condition where I have used the uh, Reynolds number 400, but in the source code there was the turbulence which was 7,500. So I have explained how 
yeah how the Reynolds number can affect uh, this uh, this match and going to the first two yeah going to the first two uh, assignment I have in details shown the basic concept and also how to integrate I have raised a, an example and uh, showed how to integrate with Gauss quadrature rule and the integrate the area I have. Uh, okay, do you do you understand the main concept for uh, the Gauss, Gauss quadrature rule for 1D, 2D, 3D? Uh, yes, professor, definitely. And I have also uh, showed the uh, uh, three exa uh, two examples where that in the 2D uh, geometry, how we can detect one point by Gauss quadrature rule. And I have explained in detail how we can get the points of uh, yeah in the two 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 by two integration point uh, and also here three by three integration point and uh, based on this I have in detail explained based on this uh, Gauss quadrature rule uh, we can detect yes yeah, one by one the point here I had explained how to get the uh, area and also how to get every point of the mesh uh, by the Gauss quadrature point and yeah I have demonstrated that and for shape function yeah, for shape function I have uh, uh, described the basic into discretization how basic discretization work the requirements of the shape functions in details and there are uh, five categories i have explained that and especially i have explained the completeness and compatibility which is very important uh, this uh, and also uh, described about the properties the kronecker de delta properties lagrange's delta properties and ser serendity properties and also i have raised a, an example for every properties so this is an example of the Lagrange family and also this is the uh, this is how we can get the uh, equation uh, from the uh, Lagrange family equation for one uh, lines or one uh, geometry and also how without uh, without calculating the Lagrange uh, family or the Pascal scale I have explained how we can get the water number uh, simply and this uh, I have used the uh, example like four node bilateral uh, bi bilinear quadrilateral and I have explained in detail how we can get this node and what what we how we can get this nodes equation uh, easily so I have used the uh, pen here for yeah uh, for explaining uh, how we can get the nodes here and also uh, I have uh, demonstrated how we can get bilinear example by quadratic by cubic and in every example I have uh, demonstrated how we can get these nodes equations uh, right like that so I have used uh, four node uh, bilinear quadrilateral nine node bilateral quadrilateral and I have used uh, I have explained uh, in details how we can get this Norse equations uh, depending on the shape functions and the uh, Lagrangian um, uh, family. So this is the 16 node by quad, uh, quadratic quadrilateral and after that I have uh, explained how the serendipity uh, elements works uh, with the based on the Pascal scale and I have uh, also demonstrated how the uh, yeah how the geometry works here and how we can get the Norse equations like the Lagrangian family uh, how we can get the uh, Norse of the uh, geometry depending on the serendipity elements and I have raised example at last I have raised uh, the triangular elements how the points of the triangular elements can be worked and at the last of the video I have demonstrated how we can get the uh, 
uh, nodes uh, equations uh, depending on the shape function uh, equation. So uh, I have uh, uh, showed the 3D linear tetrahedral element here. So uh, you, uh, we can easily get, uh, uh, we can easily understand how we can get the uh, equation for each points. And uh, last of all, I have also raised the hexahedral, uh, 3D hexahedral element. So uh, in, in short, in Gaussian quadrature rule, I have used how we can understand uh, the points, how the points are created uh, by uh, the base of uh, Gauss quadrature rule and how we can calculate the real problem for solving the uh, a surface by Gauss quadrature rule and shape function. I have uh, demonstrated how we can easily understand uh, if we need uh, equation for each node based on the shape function. And for building block, I have used the Python code to make the uh, basic nodes uh, of the uh, of the four quadrant, a simple plate, and the uh, plate with a crack. And in the simple mesh creation, I have changed the yeah here. I have changed the uh, uh, source code to get different type of mesh and uh, the mesh numbers uh, here you can see that and I have used the uh, layers of the mesh too and the first Laplace solver I have uh, also ex uh, explained the course and the basic of the Laplace solvers and also I have demonstrated the results after changing the source code too. the yeah source modified source code we can get the modified source code from my github account so and what also of, what, what kind of modification for your uh, for your, your case uh, okay uh, so uh, for simple mesh creation i have um, changed the refine number and and also uh, in the run section i have changed some uh, parameters and the, in the solver section i have uh, changed the um, uh, some numbers uh, where uh, and also uh, here the adaptive in the adaptive mesh I have changed the layers of the adaptive mesh here you can see uh, before it was uh, 256 but in that case 1 2 3 4 and 16 meshes so uh, uh, we can uh, easily understand from this 30 minutes video and uh, how I have um, after understanding, I, I have modified the code here and during modifying this code, I have also recorded this video. And for this also, I have uh, uh, changed the mesh numbers, refine numbers and uh, adapt uh, and the solvers uh, numbers. And uh, for the template, uh, when it, this source code was uh, giving one result, I have extracted two results from this. And for this source code, it was giving uh, 2D and 3D result, but I have changed the source code and get 1D and 3D result from it. Uh, and uh, for for uh, getting this type of result, I have changed the uh, template and the dimension of, uh, sorry, yeah, the dimension of the template and change the run section and also the in main section. So all these are uh, explained uh, in details in this video and you can check uh, the specific section if you yeah if you go to these videos or if you go to this document uh, in this document if you click say for example uh, in this section the python code if you just click here then uh, the video will give the section where i have changed uh, i have made the code with the plate uh, of a plate with a crack. Uh, also, uh, here I have explained uh, the modifying source code. So if you click here, then uh, you can get how uh, I had uh, changed the G code, uh, sorry, the source code and uh, which part that I have changed the source code. And also for Navier Stokes equation, 
uh, for nearest equation, I have changed the Reynolds number, and uh, in these two cases, I couldn't run the uh, yeah codes. And this is my overall description of my 11. Uh, so uh, 11 videos. So every video is more than maybe uh, 20 minutes. So in the 20 minutes, I have recorded all the videos while creating the course, while changing the course, and before changing or creating the course, I have explained briefly. If this was very complicated, I have uh, raised a simple idea and simple course too. Okay, very Thank very you. good. Uh, uh, I have two questions. Uh, one is that. Uh, do you have any idea for uh, your research topic uh, using this this uh, uh, your your result? You can apply or you can modify uh, your idea into your research topic in your uh, some simulation part for your research. Uh, yes, professor, definitely because I uh, I am working on the. Uh, adhesive where I will embed uh, the shape memory polymer polymer fiber actually into the uh, adhesive. So if I insert the adhesive, uh, sorry, insert the polymer into the adhesive. So in that case, I need two results from uh, one I want to make one just source code and get two results for polymer and adhesive. This is the adhesive. Say so for example, this is the polymer. So I can easily uh, uh, apply the C++ code and C++ template to get two results from two sources by one source code. One and another one is uh, I can uh, make uh, if this uh, if C++ had some problem, I can also develop the code in Python and uh, create a, a, any type of uh, meshes or any type of arrangement or any type of boundary conditions uh, applying to that. And I have also understood how the shape functions works, how the points works, and how we can get the, uh, say for example, the uh, area of one point and how we can, how I, I can get the equation for every node. 